Welcome to Inscribe. Inscribe gets questions out of email and into your classroom community, saving you from answering the same questions again and again and giving your students a place to turn for support and encouragement whenever they need it. More than an LMS discussion board, Inscribe's community features encourage peer-to-peer -peer connection in an instructor-moderated environment. Today, I'm going to walk you through some of Inscribe's key features that you'll be using as the moderator of your own classroom community. Access varies depending on your learning management system, but typically an embedded view of your Inscribe community is accessible from the course navigation or tools menu. In most learning management systems, you can also add links from modules and pages when you use our link authoring tool. The links are single sign-on, so there's no need for another set of credentials. If you need help getting set up, check out the resources in the moderator help and support community, or you can send us a message at support at inscribeapp.com. From Inscribe's embedded view, you can post and participate without leaving your course, but at any point, you can launch into a new tab for the full experience. Your Inscribe community has been created with customizable welcome content and a few topics to get you started. Topics are a way to organize your community to make it easier for you and your students to find things. Many instructors create a topic for each module and include a module-specific link throughout their course. Conversations are the heart of Inscribe and where you and your students can ask and answer questions and share. Simply start a conversation as a question or share post and tag it with relevant topics. Use the editor to upload images, embed videos, share files and links, and create equations. If a student needs help with something and they aren't comfortable asking the entire community, they have the option to post just to the community moderators. You can also allow anonymous posting, which can increase engagement from shy or reluctant contributors. Anonymous posts are only anonymous student to student. As a moderator, you can always learn the identity of anonymous posters. To respond or react, simply click on the conversation. Reactions are quick and give contributors feedback that their posts are having an impact. As a moderator, you can endorse a post, giving it the moderator's seal of approval. Endorsing posts provides encouragement to students who participate. If there's a conversation, answer, or response that you want everyone to see, feature it. That pins it to the top of the list. As a moderator, you can also edit and remove posts when needed. Your Inscribe community comes with a set of filters that make it easy to keep track of posts that need your attention. The Yours filter shows conversations you've participated in or that you're following. You can follow and unfollow conversations by clicking the star. You can also filter to conversations with no response or use the For Moderators filter, which gives you a list of conversations that have been flagged for follow-up and conversations without any moderator participation. If you want to make sure you don't miss anything, the unread filter is useful because it gives you a list of conversations with any posts that you haven't seen. Your community is a great place to share resources like articles, study aids, and other things that complement the course material. Simply click Add a Resource, and when you're done authoring, tag it to a topic and publish. By default, communities are set up so only community moderators like instructors or TAs can add resources. Notifications are great for staying up to date because you can get email messages when things happen in the community. Adjust your preferences on the notification settings page in the profile menu in the upper right corner of your screen. You get to your profile from the same menu. To see someone else's profile, click on their avatar. If you have reputation turned on, your students will earn points and badges for starting conversations, helping their classmates, and using the answers or resources available. The profile is a great place to see all of the students' contributions and what they viewed. To learn about engagement and the impact of your posts, go to the community admin area. You can see which students are most active and which posts are most popular. For a more detailed report, generate a downloadable file that can be viewed in Excel or Google Sheets. Once you're familiar with your community, try out the different layout options and choose the one that works best for you. The default layout is the grid, but many moderators like the reading pane because it allows you to efficiently navigate to conversations and resources using the left navigation menu. You can change your layout preferences from any of the main views. For general help, all Inscribe users have access to the Inscribe support community. Join us in the moderator support community for how-tos, tips, and advice from the Inscribe team and other community moderators. Links to both these communities can be found at the bottom of your profile menu. We want your feedback, so don't be shy about posting a question or sharing an idea or concern. That's it. Thanks for being here.